pride of India. In the 50th year of independence, while tomes are being written on a wide range of subjects, going half a century down memory lane with India's beauty queen seems to be a fairly good idea. Let me admit then, at the very outset, that your coffee table book achieves in a limited way what it sets out to achieve, giving readers of the 90s a rewind of the beauty business 1947 onwards. While some of the women have gone on to become stars and achievers in their respective professions, be it Rada Powell, Nefaria, or the late Newton Ball. Some others have gone on to become star wives like Aisha Shroff or Poonam Sinha and industrialist wives like Tina Ambani. Yet others have simply faded into oblivion. Thank you for jogging public memory. True to form, the book has a generous dose of style and some pizzazz. As an Indian beauty going international, you paved the way for many in the 60s and have managed to inform us, with the flair of an insider and a frankness which comes from the heart. There's some spice thrown in with interesting anecdotes. For instance, it is a fact little known that the first Miss India title was conferred in 1947, not on a nubal nymphette, but on the very beautiful and popular stunt actress turned vamp, the much-married Pramalak, born Esther Victoria Abraham into a Baghdadi Jewish family, who was then expecting her first child. Or that, in the mid-60s, when there was no swimsuit round, the judges came backstage and contestants lifted their saris to show them their legs. You have to be admired for the trouble you have taken to garner little details, some of which amuse. For example, even international beauty pageants were so simple in those days that Rada Faria went for and won the Miss World pageant in 1966 with an official foreign exchange allowance of just three pounds. Or how, in 1976, the ravishing Nafisa Ali Saadi decided to take part in the Miss India contest because she wanted to win one of the prizes for her parents, a color TV. Again in 1976, as a contestant for the Miss Asia pageant in the Philippines, rampant promiscuity among other participants completely scandalized Anna Bredmeyer. And that Meenakshi Shashadri was so gauche that she went unwaxed and unthreaded for a beauty contest. Music